Hey guys, this is Priority Hauling Junk Removal LLC. Sharing you a quick tip when it comes to uh, preventative maintenance for your dump trailer. It's very, very, very important that, you know, after a rainstorm or prior to a rainstorm, such as the one that we're currently having, which is two day rainstorm, you want to ensure that all of that rainwater you see that rainwater? You want to ensure that rainwater is out of the bed of your dump trailer so that way you can, you know, preserve the life of the bed. So, what we're gonna do, we'll go ahead and lift up the dump trailer. As you can see, see the water. She's still pouring. <laughs> Golly. Now just imagine that amount of water just sitting on a metal steel surface, any type of surface for a long period of time. It's going to add weight. And we all know that moisture. <sighs> Moisture can lead to uh, some actual damage too, such as, you know, rust uh, buildup. So it's very, very important that when it's going to rain, leave your trailer tilted some, so that way that water can flow down and out of your trailer, okay? So that's a quick preventative maintenance tip to, you know, ensure that we're gonna be able to use this dump trailer you know longer okay we don't want to be leaving water in here and then rest the bottom out right? not saying it would but always thinking ahead all right guys so as you can see i got a load of scrap metal on here what i wanted to mention is that there's times we don't want to leave our dump trailer up due to the fact that the pumps are mechanical and mechanical stuff can fail. We want to avoid the risk of, you know, somebody or animal coming near contact of the dump trailer. Something unfortunate happens and that thing or person gets injured. To be safe, to prevent the actual dump trailer from going down, you can utilize. Now, if you guys kind of look through here, this metal bar right there okay you see that metal bar that's the actual latch all right you see that metal bar this right here now if this tr dump trailer was up i will be able to take that latch and basically attach it to where it's supposed to be positioned and that way the dump trailer bid itself can also rest along that latch to keep it up now let's say for instance you don't have a latch on your dump trailer okay cool no worries now what you could do is take some wood all right take a wood block and what i usually do is i'll slide that wood block in between let's go ahead and get a tool then boom. Now, the wood block is allowing for this dump trailer to be at an angle, which with this particular angle, even though it's like a small angle, when the rain falls down into our dump bed, it's going to allow that water to run off to the back of the trailer and dump on the ground. 
I don't know about you guys, but I've seen way too many dump trailers and dump trucks with rusted out dump beds. The bottom of the frame just be rusted out. And I'm just wondering, like, if they're not hauling salt, what are they doing for them to ruin their dump trailer bed? That person must be allowing the rainwater to just rest along the bottom of the bed on the side of the bed. And once you start to have that rust and then those holes going through your dump trailer bed, your trailer becomes non-valuable. I'm not saying to utilize this preventative maintenance in the event that you may sell your trailer because you know no, nobody really has the intent to buy a dump trailer or a dump truck for their business to to sell it but make sure that you guys take care of your equipment because it looks so professional when you're pulling up to a customer site location and it also looks good too in that person's neighborhood when a junk removal company pull up and their equipment is looking very professional not, you know, damaging, falling apart, dragging on the ground. You know, nobody wants to see that in their neighborhood or in front of their house. All right, guys, on that note, I'm out. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Peace.